Hey guys, welcome to Advanced Bay. My name is Dimitri. Once again, I want to give you guys a quick update. Last year we planted 1,000 giant sequoia trees and I know some of you have been waiting for update and I want to do apologize guys that I've been really really busy with my YouTube channel. I have now four different channels that I started so I'm trying to you know keep up with all the things that I do. But here is a really quick um, review and update on the trees what happened to them over the winter so let me show you guys one tray here in front of me you guys can see a tray of a giant sequoia trees uh, you might ask me why are the tree you know brown like this or yellow like this is it dry or not um, it is not basically I thought they um, what, what I think happened over the winter um, we had some cold weather here in Sacramento in California so I think the the freeze actually burned them a little now they're coming back all these green trees that you see in front of me were like this were exactly like this they're in the same color like right there so I thought they actually you know were destroyed but actually they're coming back they're they're alive they're slowly trying to recover and of course this is I never done this I have no experience in planting 1,000 giant sequoia trees like this um, it, it was my first year experiment and I guess you know uh, basically what happened we planted 1,000 seeds in trays like this and only I remember I counted uh, 215 uh, came back to life so 215 seeds were alive we lost some trees but overall we have around 200 of them why I'm saying that these trees are not dead because the leaves they're soft the stem of the tree also flexible it's soft it's not dry like I'll give you guys an example I have a tree right here see this is Japanese some kind of Japanese tree so this one right here you can see it it cracks really um, really easy see like the stem on this tree is cracked so we have to remove this tree from our yard but the giant sequoia trees they are not the stem is actually soft very flexible and I had to lose one tree I had to pull it out the the roots of the tree are actually they're pretty much touching the bottom of the tray so that's good as long as the the root is alive I believe the tree will recover next year I will put them in the shelter so this doesn't happen again um, guys let me know in comments down below what do you guys think should I leave them in the tray for another year like this or should I transfer them to a bigger container um, my research when I've done research uh, I was told that you know because this is a five inch container uh, as long as the tree reaches five inches then you have to transfer them to a bigger container I'm not sure let me know in comments down below maybe you guys have better experience uh, another thing I'm not sure how they will survive because I know they they actually grow um, in a higher altitude um, but we have some trees right next to San Francisco Bay also giant square trees so maybe they will be they, they they will be okay here in Sacramento in our valley I am not sure let me know in comments down below what would you guys recommend I should do next right there so this is my update on the trees once again I want to apologize it's been a while I mean um, since I done last update so guys now these trees they are one year old and I want to show you guys my other trays so you guys will see 
other traits that I have. <coughs> what survived and, and what not. Right? Let me take you guys over there. So this is my other trays. Also, as you guys can see, it, uh, those trays that are more in shape, they're coming back green slower than some other trays where the sun is actually hitting them better. And again, they're not dry. They're all soft. And we'll see this year what's gonna happen. And next year I will put them in the shelter where we actually can save them. Also some other seeds fell in this tray and something, some other trees are growing. Here's another tree, here's another tree. I'm keeping them, we might plant them on our property. See like this side, these trays are getting warmed during the day more so they are recovering a little bit faster they're more green, greener right here so, okay so this is my update thank you guys for waiting for all this once again thank you guys for watching and thank you all of you guys who have interest in uh, in these trees, I know some of you have been waiting for this update. So, leave your comments down below. I want to know, I want you guys to share a little bit more of your experience with giant sequoia trees if you had any. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you guys later. Maybe in a month or so, I'll give you guys a little more update all trees recovered or not right see you guys then goodbye